What's up guys, Johnny here, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I've chat with you guys, but I think it's been for a pretty decent reason. Um, I just got back last week from the largest software development conference in the Midwest, and I had the honor of presenting on how to get into drone racing. Um, basically they asked me and one other guy to come in, show a bunch of software developers, what does it look like to get into drone racing? How do drones fly? How do they work? Um, how do these things uh, get controlled? What do they have to do if they want to start flying quads, FPV, the way that I do, the way that some of you guys do, and hopefully more and more and more and more people start doing. It was a really challenging experience for me, but also an extremely, extremely, extremely rewarding experience. Um, challenging from the aspect that there was just a lot of preparing to do. Uh, making of the gates, right? Figuring out what parts we're going to purchase, how we're going to build it, creating the build guides. Uh, creating the slides to talk through. Um, I used the timing system. I created a live streaming system. Um, just lots and lots of little things to go into. Uh, lots of preparation. And as you guys probably noticed, I kind of took a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube. Um, but that's all right. You know, I loved doing this experience. I really enjoyed seeing people's very, very first experience with FPV. Seeing those guys with the smile on their face the first time they try it. Um, just the people laughing as they're trying it for the first time is a very rewarding experience. Um, overall, I probably introduced over 100 new people to FPV flying. Uh, people who've never tried it before. Some people came in, uh, you know, they've flown things line of sight before. Most people had never flown anything. Now, we did set up a racetrack. Uh, we did live stream that racetrack. Um, we didn't really have people racing and competing because, as many of you know, the first time you start learning how to fly FPV, um, or even line of sight, it's very difficult. <laughs> And, uh, you know, people kind of struggled, but even with people struggling, learning how to do it, I saw a lot of people really enjoying their time with it. Lots of laughing, lots of enjoyment. Tons of people ask me, what do I buy next? How do I get deeper into this? How much money should I spend? Where should I be shopping? Um, just so much enthusiasm for wanting to get started in that hobby. And, you know, I go back to this conference every year and I'm just hopeful that next year when I go back, there'll be that many more people saying, hey, you know what? I'm flying FPV now. This thing is awesome. Uh, thanks for getting me started. Um, I, that would just make my, <laughs> my day to see people say that. Um, overall, fantastic experience. Um, to kind of take you through uh, what we were doing as I was teaching these people, you know, how to get into drone flying, how to fly FPV, how quadcopters work. Uh, we had a presentation, we showed these guys, you know, here's different classes of quadcopters. Here's what a DJI drone looks like. This is probably what you've seen before. And what I did is I actually built a video where it covered me flying these different types of quads and different things I was doing as kind of a comparison point of what it looks like with one person with different tools and kind of how those tools could be used. We went through the DJI drones. We went through tiny whoop flying. We talked about racing versus freestyle. We went from two inch uh, micro quads like the Hell Whoop, a little bit larger, two and a half, all the way up to three inch and five inch quads, uh, showing regional qualifiers, regional final racing, and you know, that GoPro, freestyle experience that we see all over YouTube. Um, I really enjoyed putting that together. People have, you know, are very receptive uh, towards that video. There were lots of questions about what I was doing, how that worked. I got a lot of comments from people who hadn't seen a freestyle video before saying they had a bit of, you know, dizziness and vertigo. I don't think they quite realized what these things were capable of, um, but I really hope it kind of helped to show them a way or if they want to do those sorts of things, you know, we we're helping them get started. And I just, I can't wait to help more and more new people. I think one of the key experiences I took away from this is I want to start doing more and more efforts towards helping people get into this hobby. I think for a long time, what's kind of happened with this channel is I was brand new to FPV, drone flying. Um, and basically what I wanted to do was share my experiences as I learned things, saying, hey, I don't know how this works. Let me show you what I learned. I don't know how this works. Let me show you how I learned. And I think what's happened is over the past, you know, just over a year, I've learned a lot. I've really got passion about this hobby and I want to start sharing more and more of those things that I learned. Um, I want to make it so I feel a bit more comfortable talking in more of a authoritative way of, you know, I know what I'm talking about in this topic and I want to share that with you people. You know, even in cases where maybe I'm not as much of an expert as someone else in the community, I don't think that should stop me from making a video on the topic and sharing my thoughts, experiences um, on that because I think that different people have different ways to learn. And 
if me giving my experience, thought process, my guide helps one more person get into the hobby that couldn't figure it out if they watched maybe a Bardwell video or someone else, you know, not that there was anything I did better, but just that maybe I connected with someone a little bit different, you know, that would be amazing. Anything we can do to get more people in the hobby, grow this sport more, um, I just love it and I wanna be part of growing this sport. So moving down the line, look for more videos and kind of like how to, how to get started and things like that because I really wanna make sure I put some videos out there that if someone stumbles across it, you know, they can get started in this hobby. Um, this whole thing's just been an amazing experience for me, very, very rewarding. I'm just so honored to have been a part of it. Um, uh, you know, what can I say? I, one thing that people really enjoyed from, from this conference was just watching me fly, right? We had tiny whoops that we were building. I flew tiny whoops around one course that we had set up for the sessions. They then asked me to come back and do demos um, for a whole nother day, showing people inside of a boardroom flying around gates in a course we set up around a boardroom table. That was a whole lot of fun. Uh, we had live streaming going the whole time, like I mentioned, and it was just overall a blast. Anyway, I wanted to kind of explain to you guys where I've been, what I'm up to, and what I hope to do in the future. And <laughs> I'm gonna leave you some of that footage that we have from the live stream, some of that footage I had of me flying the tiny loop around the different courses. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.